We're going to talk about the, uh, the Gavin Newsom thing really quickly. It appears that friend of the show, Larry Elder, is not going to replace... Uh, you know, Gavin Newsom as, as governor. I was surprised you, he got. What? I was surprised he got forty. Was so it forty six percent of the vote? Yeah, pretty high actually. I, and Caitlyn Jenner got one. Some people are trying to say that Larry Elder is gonna. Uh, here's a clip, Larry Elder. So we have lost a battle, but we are absolutely going to win the war. Call Wait. the violence. Oh, geez. oh, I heard it. He Bebe's kids. Is this the wrong clip? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and here's Gavin spinning, um, you know, everything that is ruining the United States. I should say, maybe not ruining everything in the United States of America, but certainly California, a yeah. once wonderful yeah. state, <clears throat> one. as a victory. I want to focus on what we said yes to as a state. We said uh, yes to science. Such a good looking guy. Too. Yes That's to vaccines. Worst. We said yes to ending this pandemic. Evil. We said yes to people's right to vote without fear of fake fraud or voter suppression. We said yes to women's fundamental constitutional right to decide for herself what she does with her body. I love how I just said we said yes to vaccines, talking about we mandates said yes and the to diversity. We said yes to inclusion. So let me be clear about what that means. We said yes that. to vaccines. What does that mean? We said yes to forcing people to be vaccinated. Yeah. We said yes to women's constitutional rights. What does that mean? We said yes to the right to women to end the life of another human being with separate DNA, with separate heartbeat, with separate uh, toes, fingers, sexual reproductive organs. We said yes to all those things. And yeah. by the way, I'm pandering about all of it. We said yes to diversity, which means we said yes to record number of illegal immigrants crossing the border, committing crimes, not being uh, part of the vaccine mandates, mm -hmm. by the way, though they are uh, required to uh, actually take doses of ivermectin to make sure ah. they don't have parasitic worms. Oh, we said weird. yes to driving down American wages. We said yes to effectively creating a new slave labor class here in California. And we said yes to sending business after business to Texas, including the one that uh, innovated electric, environmentally friendly cars in Tesla. Yes. We don't know how that one got away from us, Oops. but I won. Oh, by the way, so it looks like uh, not all your votes are in this. The gap is 34 to 64. Yeah, still more to be counted. Yeah, but well, seems, tough, seems tough to close for Lay Elder to finish. So so last night it was like 46. I think there were two things, actually. So I think you're right on the 46. One was, do you want to recall him or not? You actually had to vote for that on this ballot, I believe. Oh, and that was That 46. was the yeah. gap, right? And then if you do, who do you want to replace him? And it would be... Well, see, this is what this is what that tells you. When Joe Biden came in, when Elizabeth Warren came in, none of them said that Ka that Newsom did a, a good job for no, California. not at all. None of them said that his policies have been effective. They said, you know, he trusted the science. So when people are polled, on should we recall Gavin Newsom in California mind you 46% say yes so that tells you that he's done a bad job that the policies aren't there then when they're forced to decide between Gavin Newsom and Larry Elder and the media attack machine can do their job of actually convincing Californians that Larry Elder is a white supremacist, yeah. he gets less of the votes. In other words, there is no policy. There is no framework for the left to stand on. Gavin Newsom knew it, and so what did they have to do? Had to be racism, sexism, homophobia, transphobia. That's what they do, and that works in California. I think it's going to work less and less across the country, so there's a silver lining there. 46% yeah. said, Gavin Newsom, you suck. And yeah. then a significant portion yeah. said, uh, you say that the black guy's a white supremacist? Mm -mm. Well, this is California. I buy it. Yeah. It's more proof that the left exclusively, exclusively campaign <laughs> yeah. on identity politics, racism. Tra of that's course. Because that's all they have. What is Biden going to – let's say elections were held right now. Yeah. What is Biden going to campaign on? Successful economy? Americans being safer? Yeah. Right. Better inter better foreign policy. Putting in a catheter. Right. COVID's gone. <laughs> right. No, oh, no, oh, no, no, not no, co not. COVID's not gone. So we're just going to force you to get mandates. Unity. Mm. Do we think that's a, well, in other words, even the sort of <laughs> intangibles that he's going to unify the country, what could Biden campaign on? So I guarantee you what he will campaign on in 2024, whoever it is, doesn't matter. If it's Ted Cruz, if it's Ron DeSantis, if it's Donald Trump, will be racist, sexist, homophobic. For crying out loud, they tried to say that Larry Elder was worse than Gavin Newsom's wife when Rose McGowan, I was just listening to this yeah. somewhere in the media, yes. Rose McGowan said, you know, Gavin Newsom's wife and their law firm tried to offer me hush money. Yeah. 
And I don't know if it's true or not, but whatever happened to hashtag Believe All Women? Yeah. The point is... They didn't even cover it. No, they didn't Including Rose McGowan. They didn't even cover Rose McGowan's like the one. Right. Yeah. They didn't even cover it, but here's what's important about that. They tried to say, well, really, if you think that Gavin Newsom is better for women than compared to, and I heard them on the radio play a clip of Larry Elder saying, well, you know, at, at least Donald Trump has done more for, uh, for, for, for uh, fat, overweight women getting them off the couch with these marches than uh, any uh, Michelle Obama <laughs> fitness initiative has ever. That's like, they're like, oh see, he hates women. So you're comparing a joke about fat people to rape? They cannot win on policy. They try and tell you, look, we're more popular on policy because most Americans consider themselves Pro-choice. But then when you get down, hold on a second. Heartbeat. But oh, yeah, that makes sense. Hold on a second. Where should abortion be allowed? It's nowhere near aligned with the DNC platform. Mm. Hey, are you pro-immigration? Sure. Uh, then we got knuckled down. Okay, are you pro-sanctuary uh, city? Well, no, of course not. Should we be able to deport people here who are here illegally and are committing crimes? Well, of course we should be able to. Yeah. Should people at the border be forced to pay, uh, forced to send the guest, but be forced to pay taxes? Oh, of course they should. So they use buzzwords both to try and fool their base into voting for them, we're pro-choice, we're pro-diversity, and then they change language to try and make you hate the people who they're running against. Watch Louder with Crowder live, Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern.